The state now says health care workers who test positive for COVID can return to work immediately if they have no symptoms. So how does this plan work? Amazon warehouse workers in the state of Alabama have voted against forming a union. Our Chicago, the Chicago Teachers Union voting to accept a deal to reopen the city schools. Let's listen in now to a press conference. The mayor, Lori Lightfoot, is speaking. Workers aren't properly protected. Labor unions were made to protect the right of the worker. Unfortunately, there are still many working class people not getting the proper protection that they deserve. This ultimately comes down to the National Labor Relations Act. The component that the um, NLRA captures is the ability for one, uh, workers to unionize, but two, just to have free conversation about uh, their rights, their salaries, their benefits, uh, and not squashing that discussion amongst employees. Established in 1935, this gave most private employees the right to organize, bargain collectively, strike, and define employee unfair labor practices. Unfortunately, it is not as effective today as it was 87 years ago. 35 years of retail, and I have no back support. I'm now almost 50 years old. I've had a billion surgeries, and now that I'm winding down to my older age, I have nothing left. Be and part of that is because unions would stabilize that for people. Unions can be helpful, but workers need protection in their legislation. We need to protect our workers on a federal level. One of the biggest problems regarding the NLRA today is that it does not protect those in the public sector, nor does it offer any solutions to those overworked as a result of COVID-19. Those who have been significantly harmed by both of these factors are nurses. My manager sent me to a floor that is being tested for corona. She knows my health history. She knows all of this. I quit. I care about the patients and all, but my family and my, my life, they matter. They come first. Given that the NLRA was made to facilitate the joining of unions, it is unreasonable and unjust to be excluding around 24 million Americans from these rights. Uh, when we start looking at the NLRA uh, and the uh, actions that uh, it provides for uh, public, I'm sorry, for private sector employees, uh, very important uh, to have that expanded uh, to our public employees as well. Considering as well that the public sector consists of teachers, doctors, and public servants, it is criminal that they themselves are not given the written guarantee of protection. My dad also had a labor union in his corner, and the union spoke for him and they fought for him. My parents worked hard to make ends meet so that their children would have opportunities they themselves never had. And that's the American dream. If only part of the country gets to experience the American dream, we're doing something wrong. Um, I think it's important in today's society for, for teachers to feel valued and to feel appreciated. And, and a lot of that can come through protecting them. Without the uh, auspice of a union, teachers' rights uh, are being violated uh, and have been violated for many years. But without the protection of the union, we would not be able to have uh, due process and be able to have uh, a lot of those rights uh, that are being violated to have the situations rectified. Teachers are especially hurt in places like Florida, where it is illegal to strike in the public sector and also an at-will state, meaning workers can be demoted or fired without reason. Especially now during COVID, um, I think a lot of teachers have, have seen kind of those regulations change from the beginning till now, where maybe perhaps we aren't given uh, the days that we need uh, or the sufficient days that we need perhaps to work from home if, we're, if, if we test positive for COVID. Despite all of this, the NLRA doesn't prevent those in the public sector to join unions. It just doesn't facilitate it in the same way that it does for those in the private sector. I've had major surgery and my leave ran out. And once it ran out, I applied for an extension of leave through the union and was able to, to heal and was able to, to help myself uh, rest up and become whole so that I could go back and provide uh, service to students and to my school 100%. This raises the question, 
is there a better way? Let's take a step back and look at how the rest of the world is handling workers' rights. In France, labor unions are very important, but what primarily protects public and private sector worker is a labor legislation, which impacts every aspect of employment condition. The NLRA does provide a lot of coverage for private sectors, but for too long we've allowed a portion of our country to be ignored. This is a call to action for our federal government to step up and to act now. The NLRA is a good idea, but we have the power to turn it into a great reality.